was doing PA, uh, I must have been around 24, 25, started doing PA. And even before that, I was doing um, uh, PA for the WNBA. So my first year, and again, I, my career trajectory, I didn't anticipate doing PA announcing. They asked me, and as a Pacer fan growing up, the only answer is yes. You know, I remember one of the last games I went to as a Pacer fan was, you know, in the, uh, uh, in the upper deck with my mom and watching Reggie Miller go against Allen Iverson in a big game. And so to be asked to do PA and then be right there courtside announcing the team that I grew up cheering for, it was a no-brainer. And I remember early in one of the seasons, uh, Eduardo Nahara, who played for the Dallas Mavericks at the time, and I'm um, at the scores table doing my thing, and he comes in to check in. He's a guy that came off the bench. And he's sitting there, and he keeps, like, glancing over at me. No dead ball, plays continuing to go, and he just kind of keeps glancing over at me. And then there is a dead ball, and then I announce in for the Dallas Mavericks, Eduardo Nahara. And then he looks over to his coach, which I believe was Rick Carlisle at the time. And he goes, look like a boy, sound like a man. <laughs> and we, the whole scores table like erupted like in laughter. And I just, what? <laughs> look like a boy, sound like a man, as he checks in, <laughs> into the floor, which was 